Councilman Jimani Williams. Thank you very much. Thank you, Laurie, and thank you, BID. Of course, I had to come up with BID, and of course, I had to make sure we got stuck in City Hall a little bit because it's a bunch of negotiations. But I didn't want to miss uh, presenting to Nathan Thompson, who I've, I've known, I think it's even over a decade, it's like probably 15 years now. When I was over at Flatbush Development Corporation, met him and his wife, his wife's two sister, his mom, his kids. I haven't seen his uh, son in a while, and he's got really grown, he's like a real person now. <laughs> But uh, Nathan, uh, Nathan has a big mouth, and sometimes he doesn't know when to shut it up, and that means he's just like me, and so we get along really, really well. Um, and we're bridge builders, and Nathan has done a lot of fantastic work in here. I think I first got introduced to him, I was a Flappers Development Corporation, I was a housing director, and John Prater, who was then the executive director, said uh, there is a, a crazy white guy who is <laughs> chasing after people who are breaking down into cars and houses down Church Avenue and that there is a ghost painter who's painting over graffiti and I may want to meet him and his name is Nathan Thompson uh, and the rest is kind of history of that. and you know most places from the work I was doing most places that I used to go to I was kind of the only person that looked like me in the room and when Nathan grew up in Oakland in the 70s and 80s he, a lot of times he was the only person who looked like him in the room. Uh, so we had uh, a lot of shared experiences. Uh, for those of you who are on uh, the 70th Precinct Council may remember the Night of the Bloody Hands. But, um, that was a, a long time ago, caused some consternation, uh, but it did uh, do a lot for the community. He's done a lot with MTA, um, did some presentations with MTA. They took uh, a lot of the work he did and made some changes. He's just a fantastic guy, and he stared down the barrel of a gun in Oakland, uh, so he doesn't get shook up too much, which is probably why he was chasing down people on Church Avenue. Uh, Brooklyn, thankfully, has not matched that stress, uh, we are glad to say, but he's just been, a, I think, a wonderful addition to Victorian Flatbush. His entire family has been a wonderful addition uh, to the Victorian Flatbush. And when I was here, uh, before I even knew that I, or even said that I wanted to run for office, Apparently people saw it in me, and Nathan said uh, whenever I ran that he would support me, uh, and I have a picture in my house uh, of my very first meeting in my mother's kitchen. She later told me that even she didn't believe I was gonna win, but she supported me anyway. Um, and one of those people uh, was Nathan Thompson in that very first meeting, and I will never ever uh, forget that. So I am very proud to present the Community Activist Award uh, to Mr. Nathan Thompson. Well deserved it. A man after my own heart. We look very much alike, almost twins. <laughs> Oliver Laurie, Citron Nipel, and the Brook Independent Democrats on Nathan Thompson Community Act.